uh, dear student today I am going to explain about uh, palindrome number so first of all uh, let's do so this is palindrome number let's check for simple program general program what to check palindrome number general program so cls enter a number n m equals to n while n not equals to 0 then r equals to n mod 10 rv equals to rv into 10 plus r n equals to n slash 10 when so this while when loop while when loop is used to reverse the given number and it will be stored in REV variable. Now, if original number M is equals to REV reverse number, if original number is equals to reverse number, then it is palindrome, else it is not palindrome. It is not palindrome. So look at here, N, this is the original number, and we are storing this N into new variable M. M because the value of n is changing here so that's why we should store the value of n into m so that we will get original number let's check another example so this program explain about check palindrome number using sub procedure so this is modular programming so first of all we should declare the procedure declare sub palin because sub procedure type of procedure name of the procedure is palin and is a variable it is a parameter and take input in main module and call palin call palin statement is used to call sub procedure sub procedure palin n so uh, this is the same general programming n equals to m original number is stored in m now this while when loop while when loop is used to reverse the number and it will be stored in rev variable if original number m is equals to rev then it is palindrome number else it is not palindrome number let's take another so this program is used to check palindrome number using function procedure so we know that function procedure returns the value to the main module print statement is in main mo main module uh, because this print statement is used to call this function procedure so de we should declare function procedure function is the type of procedure palin dollar is the name of the procedure and is a parameter cls take input now print statement print statement is used to call this function procedure while calling the value of n will pass here now this is the same program uh, original number we should store in new variable m and this while one loop will reverse the number and it will be reverse number will be stored in rev then if original number is equals to reverse number then it is palindrome else it is not palindrome and end if and in function uh, so remember that print statement is used to call this function procedure okay thank you Yeah.